Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in Conley section yet again for a two episode Neo Cursor map. That's right, we did one and two last time. We are actually going to do the prologue, which I didn't know existed, and three this time. So I apologize for the uh, out of order of the prologue, but this is the prologue, so let's get going. Uh, we're going to try and do this relatively quickly because it's the prologue, and we don't actually get a cursor. So, you know, there you go. Um, we're the Crusaders. Our goal to free uh, as much worlds from the Creeper's influence as possible. Our civilization has been quite successful in clearing worlds. However, it seems they just they just keep retaking. Uh, but as long as the Creeper spends time doing so, we're still successful in reaching our goal. We cannot truly stop the Creeper, but we can hinder it as much as possible. Recently, however, my Crusader party was led into a trap. We lost all our offensive tech, so now we're stuck using Anti-Creeper to clear worlds. But... We stay. Well, we try to stay in high spirits. Going back to HQ is admitting defeat, and I'm not sure if we can mentally recover from that. My Crusader party has already uh, been the least successful among them. Uh, we can't afford to share even more negative results. We're once again in trouble, Captain. I don't know how much longer we can keep doing this. Losing our main offensive forces might be our downfall if we can't turn the tide somehow. However, there seems to be a tiny spark of light in the Sea of Darkness. It seems a friendly orb of sorts is here. Uh... We can move it using the I button. It doesn't seem to do anything other than shoot a visual beam on the ground under it. It seems like it's currently pointing out where the al allied spore tower is shooting its anti-creeper spores. I, re I recommend not moving it, though you can, of course, move it just for fun. Uh, the beam seems to be green most of the time, but on some locations it can be red. I wonder what that means. Good analysis from all of you. I wouldn't expect any less from the Crusaders. I'll try to command this weird orb uh, around and see how it works. I have a feeling it's going to be important later on. As always, we're going to have to rely on Anti-Creeper. Anti-Creeper is created from Blue White at the factory. Blue White is created from building a miner and setting it to create Blue White by clicking on it and then using the setting, uh, setting the option. Sprayers will likely suffice. Using the urn on miners and mine production will be essential to not fail. We must either reclaim a portion of the world or hold our base for a long enough time to jump to the next. If we can just show that we're at least competent in defending, maybe we can get an un uh, we won't get unhonorably fired from our jobs. Good luck, everybody. Good luck indeed. We're gonna need it. Don't be so negative. We totally got this. You rock, Commander. We'll show them creeps. For the world orb, I mean for freedom! Damn, I wish I knew better than to join the worst crusader party. Alright, so lore has been established. We have lost all of our offensive tech other than blue-white. This is the map. There are three emitters. Uh, they're not super strong, but there's three emitters. Uh, there is a whole breeding ground and a whole breeding ground. That is the bigger threat. Um, we have a couple on our side as well. And we have a hold point and a spore launcher launching five spores in a minute. Um, so, yeah, there we go. That is essentially the map. I guess it's always easier to pop, pop these down in top-down mode, uh, as is tradition. Uh, let's make sure we're at the top. And all we're going to do, this is just a hold mission. Uh, it's honestly not too bad. I sort of just tested it out and you, you come to like a pretty good equilibrium pretty early on to do the reclaiming is definitely more difficult and while doable i want to get to the other map so we are just doing the hold for now uh we're just gonna load up the world i don't really care about being super optimal i apologize you know i i mean i think you know i do like being like fairly optimal with a lot of things uh but in this regard i'm not super worried about it uh we're gonna rematerialize oh right there that's fine i'm gonna turn that one off even though i know it's, i was just talking about optimal and blah 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 i just want to activate two towers to start uh and then once those two are active we'll turn this back on and now we can fly around and be all ha hunky dory and happy so there we go i don't really mind the fact that yes we are going to uh go into a monstrous deficit don't really mind the fact that yes uh, we're not going to really get everything we need but I think it will be fine. I think that's the bigger, the, the bigger point is the fact that we're going to be fine. Uh, the big key here is uh, we just need to get going, you know? We got, we got to get to that second map in a reasonable amount of time. Not saying it's going to be perfect, but I just want to get to it in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, we're already doing pretty good. You know what? I'm even just going to turn this up to two times speed. Uh, two times is pretty good. This will get start building terps, which is fantastic. We are going to get uh, a factory going down, 
and we can we can turp up the world, of course. Uh, oh wow, that was probably not a very effective miner, but that's you know that's fine. That's fine. Don't really need to be super effective on this map for now, at least for now. Uh, we do have the miners going down. We will swap them to blue white uh, because we can, and that will get us some blue white. That will get us some sprayers. These sprayers are now going to be set to always on, which will get us just a little bit more, which is fantastic. And I think. Yeah, we're losing some ground, or we're losing some towers. Eh, no big, no big deal if you ask me. Uh, feeling pretty okay right now. Uh, not the end of the world, not the best thing in the world, of course. Uh, we will toss down these three to have an urn, because why not? And we can just start doing sprayers, right? So let's, uh, let's just toss down just some sprayer defenses, you know, fairly all over. Nothing. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, just a couple sprayers here and there and everywhere. Uh, again, toss down more blue-white for the blue-white gods, and a mine production. Uh, so, this should be good enough to hold, I want to say. Fingers crossed. We shall see. I really should have done this better, but, you know, again, I'm not super concerned. Uh, we're ju we did it for the lore, and the lore is what we acquired, so I'm pretty happy with that. Again, our blue-white production, relatively good. We have, we can, you know, support a couple more sprayers, which is nice. They're not always on, they're mostly in shooty machute mode, which is why we can support them. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, we're already down five minutes. Let's just toss it to four times speed at this point. I don't think we really need to build anything else. I think we have established that we're fine. Although, we can build a couple, you know, pylons and things, right? Ooh, we can get another uh, miner right there, can't we? No, we, we actually have to turp. And I do have a turp there. But, eh, eh, we're just, again, we are here specifically for the uh, the lore which we now have acquired Look at this we even pushed this back easy peasy uh we could easily get like to probably double the number of sprayers on this map that are uh, miners that we have which would allow us to have way more sprayers of course uh and you know what just just for the sake of things all the sprayers be always on let's see that puppy drain yeah that's right get out of here ac we don't need you we don't want you but we have our foam party on half of the map, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And there we go. We are almost to the 10 minute mark. We're claiming, yeah, we're nowhere near. But again, we, we're we not being effective in terms of getting our miners. You know, I, I don't want to spend 20 minutes setting down a miner. Uh, also, if you put it in there, red beam, green beam, red beam, green beam, red beam, green beam. There we go. That was the first map at a hold level. Uh, relatively quick and easy. So there we go. I actually did it before just to see how bad of a hold it was, you know, where I was like optimizing it. I was like, I don't think I need to do this and I don't want to do all that for a video. So there we go. Uh, Neo Cursor 3, however, terrain amplifier. There we go. Guess the terrain on this world uh, is amplified with a 1 to 10 ratio. Surely that means it's easier, right? Uh, fingers crossed it is. I have taken a look at this map. Looks like there is quite a lot going on here. It looks very cool. This is it. An actual challenge appeared. Uh, if we can cleanse this world, we can go back to HQ and share our story. We'll likely be fi uh, finally accepted by the others. Of course, Commander. However, the terrain here seems amplified. One unit of terrain difference stands for ten units of creeper difference. We're unsure what caused this, but it seems it's only making things easier for us. I shall keep that in mind. Actually, who am I kidding? The computer department is controlling the orb. Let's, uh, I'll just let them do their job in peace. Thanks for recognizing our work, boss. No problem. Now, show me what, uh, that this praise isn't misplaced and guide the orb to victory using the I button and your cursor. Will do, boss. There we go. See, now we're back on cursor map Landia. Let's take a look at the map. Ho, 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 a lot of breeding grounds uh, all over the place. So we have a lot of breeding to deal with. Um, we have a very small spot here, but we're clearly going to be expanding, of course. Nice little, like, pits of breeding grounds as well, and then a big one over here. So, uh, plan-wise, I think I want the corner, because the corner will be good. And then I think I want to sort of take our side, and then move out. Maybe take, uh, this trio? Maybe? 
I, I don't know how much they're going to breed, how big it's going to be, because, I mean, right now they're fairly empty, but I don't know what that means. So, so yeah, let's get going. I think we're going to, again, we're going to start, oh, we can't move the orb yet. Can't move the orb, uh, but I'm assuming as soon as we unpause, we can. Uh, I do love this mode, because literally the second I, un like, I can have this there and be like, oh, what's happening? And, oh my gosh, that's filling up. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, creep coming our way. Or do we? Uh, we have a lot of... Oh, because the height is so big, it can hold in that much. So we actually f don't have that much creep coming in yet. Uh, and we already have our first tower of power. That is right. Power modifier minus 20. Uh, I'm assuming that's good. I'm, oh, maybe it gives the orb... Yes, negative 20 power, because negative is how you convert creep to anti-creep. If it was a positive number, we'd actually be spewing creep. This would be pretty cool to have as a, as a creep mode, too, you know, where you have the uh, creep orbs all over the place. Uh, we want to make sure this beam stays green. When it's green, it's active. When it's red, it's not. So there we go. Bazinga, we are on the move. Bazinga, bazinga, bazinga. Corner taken. Again, that is kind of our goal. We just want to take these points of power we want to get the towers of power that's another minus 15 to us that's 10 that's 20 those are 10 so maybe we go for the 15 that's really nearby right we'll go for this 15 then we'll go for this 20 and that should get us these tens so i think that's kind of how i want to do it uh i'll try and leave it in this 3d mode because 3d cursor is a very cool cursor right uh maybe we'll go for this node as well and then sort of cut in Fingers crossed that'll work. Uh, but unfortunately for us, it, they are going through the breeding cycle. Uh, ooh, we could maybe... Uh, I was going to say, we could maybe sneak in through the back, but it looks like we already lost that. And we are basically at this power node. and You know? I mean, not power node, but a breeder zone. And it's always good to take your breeders when you can, because that just makes it yours, right? I mean, the more we are breeding, the less they are breeding, the better for us. So with this, can we start to work on this? Let's see how bad this is. I mean, that looks like it's very high creep, but maybe it'll go down pretty easily. I don't know. I mean, we are creating a nice, solid beam. Now, unfortunately, they are coming in from this side, too. So the green is still green, though. We are working on it. I want to get to that node. So we are cleansing the land. We do have a breeding cycle in two seconds, which should hopefully deter that which is good, uh, and that'll get us that much closer. While that sort of whole fends itself off, because we took it, uh, we can hopefully get to this power node, because the more we shoot down, just the better for us, right? These these towers are what's important. Um, it is it is starting to expand quite a bit, though, so I am getting worried about this side. Um, but we are getting closer and closer and closer to this. There we go. I think we got it. We did indeed. That should give us 15 more power which, I mean, that's a 15, that's a 15, that's a 30% increase. That is pretty solid. 30% increase. Ooh, but we lost this. Ooh, that's bad, 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 bad. But we have a 30% increase, so we can easily take it back. And then, ooh, that's red. Again, we don't want it to ever go red. We still have this in our grasp. And we're actually pushing in to the breeder a little bit, right? Ooh, nope. Stay. Get in there. Get in this breeder, please. I don't even care about this breeder right now. If we can get this breeder, it would just be more impactful for us in the long run, I think, right now. So that is what I want. I am going to go top down so we can see if we can sort of get our beam inside of it. So looks like we can. Are you still green? You are, and you're inside. That's what we want to see. We want to take this whole thing, ideally, before the next breeding cycle, which we did. Which is awesome. Okay, so now we should be much safer. So we can expand back out. We have this now breeding for us, allowing us to take part of where we were before. So now we need to get some more power, of course. Uh, we are, you know, with our with our improved power of the 15, uh, that's going to help us take this out. Hopefully get to this minus 20 or and then from there, we can go for some more things. Because if we can, I, I do want to get these, because these are each minus 10. If we can get a minus 20 and all the minus 10s, that's going to be a lot. But this is this is encroaching in on our lands quite a bit. 
Um, but you can see, just just so far, we're, we're able to sort of push into this pretty well, too. So I'm not super, super worried about this side, at least. Um, as you can see, yeah, we're, we're able to uh, grab this breeder relatively well, which gets us this, which is amazing, because now we're at 85 power. Glorious, glorious, glorious. And now we can sort of start to make our way inside of here. So hopefully, hopefully we can. Uh, let's take a look from the top-down perspective, because clearly we're going to need it that much closer. Uh, as soon as this starts to give way, this is coming in rather quick, so I'm a little concerned about it. Um, but it looks like... Please don't... Yeah, we made it in. Okay, so we are in, which will be another minus 10 modifier. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. So we will have to do a mix because of the... The nature of these uh, pillars, I guess, you know, but the mix is fine, right? I, th I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, again, we are just moving in, trying to go from one to the other. We're at minus 95 power right now, which is substantially better than when we started, of course. So, yeah, if we can get this minus 10 and maybe save this, I kind of want I want to get more towers. I mean, I'm, I'm more happy to get a tower than I am to save, like, one of these nodes, right? Because this tower is just guaranteed power forever. Uh, woo. Let's just make sure we can get in there. It is draining relatively quickly, but is it draining quick enough is the question. And it looks like we're in. Looks like we're in, which is awesome. So, looks like we're starting to take out even more, draining even more. And I think we got it, and I think we were able to save this. Ooh, look at that. So we, I really like how these uh, towers act because, I mean, it's just clear. You see, oh, we gained a tower, we gained minus 10 or what have you. You know, that's that's pretty neat to see. And we can even move it around like this, which is always nice. And I guess the question now is where do we want to go? I mean, I, I guess get, again, another tower. But do we want to start going down here, right? Uh, because getting that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, it's just, again, more breeder for us. And more breeder is more gooder. But I think, I think, 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 it is try and get in here, right? Because if we can, then again, that's just another tower. We want these towers of powers. Holy moly, there's a lot of creep on this map. I was not expecting it to be this much. Uh, ooh, let's move in. Uh, and that should get us, boom, another 10 power. So what's next? Where? Okay, so there's a minus 10 over there. Uh, that's a minus 30. Okay, so yeah, let's try and get a minus 30 on our side. So if we put this up here, does that just spread? It does. So if we actually just, wait, is this just going to fill this and give us a minus 30? Oh, uh, we could have done that so long ago. <laughs> that's just a free minus 30. I mean, come on. How could... Oh, I'm a fool. I am a fool. Because just putting it up top just spreads it because there was no uh, creep there. Interesting. Oh, that, like, we could even, like, put it, like, right there and just start spreading. But, you know what? Let's take these. Again, it's just more growth for us. Uh, not that it really matters. It's just a nice thing to have. Uh, so it can just protect this and stuff, I guess. Uh, it also gives us a way to bleed out over the top. Maybe we'll bleed out, grab this minus 10 next. Uh, because, see, it's just like right at the top, we're, we're just bleeding out all over the place. It's feeling pretty good. Uh, yeah, that, that's feeling pretty good. Uh, once we can get in here, we will take out this other zone. See, it, it is able to take it back. That's why I want to, why I want to take these. Um, which we will very, very easily. And we've almost taken them already. So there we go. Halfway there. And we're done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is, again, we, we've hit a nice equilibrium on this side. Uh, this is not doing too terrible. So let us see. We are, we are trying to do a little backdoor action here. We could try and go through the front. But if we go through the back, we can, we can uh, take them out just a wee little bit. You know, move our cursor just slightly in. And it is, it is able to push, you know? Uh, I think because we have enough of these towers, we're able to push relatively well. Uh, the question is, can we hold? That is the big question. So we can definitely start pushing into this. It is breeding right now, which is why it's uh, a bit harder. 
So the question is, if we start to take this, which we are, will we slowly drain down here? Or will we get surrounded and be sort of isolated in the world? And it looks like we might get surrounded. So yeah, this is not looking too promising right now. Uh, we are draining the creep, of course, but we're not draining it that fast. I mean, they're at 121k, we're at 30. And it looks like they're going up faster than we are. So maybe we have to take over some of these smaller areas so we have more AC pushing. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, we can, we can clearly hold this. It's just not doing that much for us right now. Whereas if we can actually push against things, uh, I, we can just take ground. And taking ground usually is better. Uh, just because, granted, with a standard map, taking ground is better because it increases your power. Now, taking ground on this doesn't necessarily increase our power, uh, although we might be able to get... Uh, no, that's pretty big. <laughs> this creep is very, very big. Uh, definitely, definitely interesting. Uh, but we are able to hold this like this, right? Uh, to the wall, you can see uh, it is essentially draining down here, and we are taking this area. And anything we can take is just good, right? I mean, it's taken... It can hold itself, sustain itself, and we're able to keep moving, moving, moving. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll get this to the edge. It'll feel pretty good there. And then we can reassess what we want once we have all of these lovely, lovely growths. Uh, breeding zones, if you will. Like, I would love this uh, with the th what, three power modifiers. Ooh, that looks pretty tasty, too. That's a minus 70. Ooh, I want that one as well. Oh, there's so many that I want. And they're all so delicious. Um, but again, luckily, it's a very cool concept. I like the fact that the creep is like held back just by the, the size of the walls. But it also makes it a little difficult. <laughs> you know? It's one of those, it's a blessing and a curse all at once. So, I wonder, I wonder. So if we're like go up here right because we can so can we get to like drain this out and get to like that power modifier like maybe we're taking this side and then we're gonna work our way over to these bigger bigger ones um because look at that i mean that is just getting monstrous and this is monstrous too i'm not gonna lie so the question is is this too monstrous for us i mean this is 33 oh geez it goes up to 40 see this this is pretty monstrous but I don't really know where else we're going to assault, you know? <laughs> it seems like everywhere is pretty monstrous. And we're about to lose this. I mean, not about to, but it is getting closer. So I am kind of uh, going to retake this back, because, you know, this is definitely the area that we just took. So I do want to hold this. Um, or, yeah. But the question is, where do we go? Where do we do... What is our main option of attack? I mean, we have a decent emitter at 145. 145 is actually pretty strong. Uh, Grain, I guess it depends on how fast it ticks. I'm assuming it's every 0.5 seconds, like a standard emitter. You know, 0.5 seconds is sort of the standard emitter rate. Um, maybe it's not. See, we're even losing that. Oh, my. So we're losing ground now. Uh, the creep... I think we took away a fair bit, which is good. Uh, our AC is looking fairly okay, uh, but where do we want to push? Maybe we want to just start trying to cut it off, right? So maybe we start pushing it back here, cut across this, just cut it off. And that's what we need to do. Uh, it is a bit harder without any towers or anything to assist. Like, if we just had some, like, mortars and stuff, that'd be pretty amazing. Uh, but, you know, this is a pure cursor-ish map. Like, that's so big. Now, we are we actually are making some pretty big creep ourselves. So I guess it is just start to take this over, right? Because we cut this off. Uh, I don't want to lose this at all, which is the problem. Just give it a little pop. And this is getting cut off, which is good. That gives us a little bit more leeway. Uh, we're taking a bit more of the land, which is good. And I guess we will work over towards this minus 10 over there. Now, that being said, let's just beef that up and then come on back. Nice little beef. And, you know what? Let's, uh, let's flatten this AC. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. 
We know we're in the phone party. We don't need to necessarily see it. We just need to know that our beam is doing good. This makes it so much nicer. Okay, I really like that. And now we're sort of, we're starting to, to push back. That being said, again, the creep is very, very, very tall. So again, our beam is in the green, which is what we want to see. And I am feeling better. Again, this is not necessarily holding, but again, it's breeding now, which is all we needed it to do. So now we will push over to here. Try and surround this, grab another two more uh, breeding pools, get the point of power. I think. Ah, oh, but we're losing. We're losing ground over here. Hold, 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 hold. And it was... It's held. It's held. Thankfully, our beam is quite strong. It is quite strong. Um, you know, we can just put the beam over there, and it is able to push back basically any amount of creep that they have. As you can see, we're, we're even pushing in to this relatively easily now. Uh, was more difficult earlier, so that is... I think it's a little bit easier because we have more just AC pushing everywhere, so it's just draining a bit more everywhere. And now we have another point of power, which just makes things easier. Uh, and I'm not sort of just cutting it off and being surrounded, right? I was a bit more methodical. I kind of cut in. We eliminated all the creep uh, from around it, so now we have the uh, the pushing power, as it were. So, yeah, we, we've uh, maintained ourselves. Let's just see how good our... AC is looking looking pretty tasty, looking pretty good if you ask me. So that is quite nice, and yeah, we've uh, we've saved this half. See, this is even now holding itself, which is amazing. I don't know how this is now holding itself, but I guess because we're draining from this, it can't now fall over because it's filling it in. That's kind of my guess. Uh, maybe fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, we can uh, we can start pushing into the main blockade. And the question is, where do we want to? I mean, do we want to just edge it? And I think edging it is probably the best, right? We'll give it some edging. Uh, just keep curling it in. It'll keep things from spilling over because, you know, edging is it's just a good, good time. And then we'll get to these. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like we're just chipping away. Um make it like we want to go in as far as possible because that way we know our uh, beam itself is producing most of its width its girth inside uh, we did lose some ground over here but we made so much over here I'm not super worried about it uh, again now oh no I don't want to lose the tower though that is one thing so losing the tower, that that I don't like. Uh, and that is the problem. So now, now I guess we do have to come back over here. But this isn't losing ground too fast. So I guess we will just come back in. And we'll, while we will take this back, ooh, they are breeding. But look, even when it's breeding, we are sort of still taking ground from them, which is good. Uh, this is now coming in again. Which is the problem, but that's okay, because we're just going to move right on over here and start to push in again. Uh, this is very, very, like, micro-y movement-y, you know, not not making too much progress, sort of leave it at a point. Which, again, if you're th with your cursor, you know, oh, no, that's red. Don't want to be red. You know, you'd be like, oh, I have to stay here for the next five minutes to push in. Um, whereas with this, it's just like, yep, set it, let's look around, let's plan. Uh, we want this 70. That is what we want. That 70 is going to, like, change the game. Um, and we're just sort of trying to march in here as much as possible. Get as close as we can. And you can see we're actually now in the breeding zone, which is awesome. Uh, we are now making progress and taking this breeding zone. It is now breeding, which... While it is mostly for them, it is partially for us. Uh, and you know what? That partial breeding is pretty substantial. So I will take it, take it, take it. I really can't wait, though. I, I know the last map has like nine of these orbs. Like, imagine if we could place an orb like here, 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 here. You know, like just super, super go in on them. Oh my gosh, that's going to be amazing. So we have 
yeah, we're officially making progress now. I, I think we're sort of hitting that tipping point, especially once we get this 70 modifier, um, where we're literally just going to start just zooming. Uh, because look at this, we're, we're, we're outpacing them. We now have more of the, uh, the split breeder, I think, than they do by taking these two. I mean, they have a big pool, but I think we actually have more combined with our, also with our, uh, with our pure AC breeder. So I think we're, we're at the tipping point where while we don't have more creep or AC than them, we're just going to outproduce them regardless. Like they're in the, the dying set, especially with our ability to focus them down, take them out. And especially once we get this plus 70, I mean, we're at 155. That's almost a 50% increase, you know? So I'll take it. I'll take it. We're 7.5 away from a 50% increase. 77.5, of course, would be the 50%. There we go. We're so close. So close. Currently inactive. Currently active. There we go. Big increase for us. And now we can sort of take the rest of the world. This, I mean, clearly is supposed to be like the last place you take because there's points of power over here. I mean, clearly you'd want to get all of your points of power before... A play, like, why even go for this uh, if there's no point of power in there, right? There's no tower. So I would much rather go someplace that's going to give me power, uh, which will be over here, right? We'll, we'll try and take this out next, most likely. Although that's a that's a 35, and it doesn't seem nearly as bad. So we could go for the 30. Ooh. Uh, we could go for the 35, and then we could go for over on this side. Uh, either way, seems pretty reasonable. But... I'm actually surprised that this is... Well, it is breeding right now. Uh, I'm surprised that this is holding so strong because, again, I just want to just wanna take these two, you know. It's going to happen. Uh, the AC does officially outweigh uh, the creeper itself now, which is amazing. And, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. So, is there any other point of power that we really care about? Not too much, not too much. Let's uh, let's give it a look at how our AC is looking. Look at look at those spikes. See, I mean, look at how big our AC is now. It's glorious. Oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Uh, now get out of here. Get out of here, you beautiful AC. Uh, we have beams to work through. So this is now complete. I mean, again, with that 70. I mean, look at how much more we're just shredding through this, right? Uh, you know, these waves of creep. Oh no, oh no, it's, it's so bad. Nah, it's not bad at all. Uh, we're even moving into this right before the breeding cycle. They are going to get a little bit of breeding, of course, but we're even pushing it while it's breeding. And that's, that's the most telling thing. When it's breeding, if you can still push it, especially with a uh, cursor map, you know you're way more powerful than them, right? That's the, that's sort of the most telling feature. So, yeah, we've uh, we've officially got this... In, I mean, we've officially had it in the bag for a little while. Uh, but now it's sort of, like, completely known. I mean, look at how... I mean, we're just going to completely wreck this area. No problem whatsoever. I mean, they have a little bit of creep here, but come on. Like, look at this breeding. We're literally... It's like, I'm doing it! And we're just like, no, you're not. You, you got nothing on us. We're just going to completely decimate you. Uh, and there's nothing you can do about it at this point. So, yeah, uh, let's go to pure cursor mode. See, now it's following our cursor. Look at that. And we're going for this minus 35. Now, this 35 looks like it's going to be a lot of fun for us. Again, we're at minus 225. So that's still over, well, over 10%, almost 15% gain. She probably is about, for, yeah, it's a pretty good gain, you know? Every one of these gains is pretty substantial, so... I think there's 60 in total in here. What, 10, 15, and uh, 20? Okay, so there is, there's a 45 gain over there, which, again, I will happily take an extra 45. I mean, no way I wouldn't. And thankfully, again, we can come in from the side. So I think we are supposed to come in through this side uh, because that is sort of the way up and in. But we do have the ability to make it up top. So the question is, will this push in, or do we have to go from that side? Uh, let's see. I mean, we're really, really close. 
Uh, let's see if we can actually push in. Because if we can get this one, this is the big one, right? This is a minus 20 here. And yeah, we're pushing in on the minus 20. So we're going for the minus 20 first. And it's active. Boom. 280 for us. I mean, look at how well we're pushing in. This is this is the big zone. Again, let's uh, take a look at our AC pillar. Look at that. Oh, we're just, we're just creating so much. It's beautiful. It is a thing of beauty. Um, now, the question is, I guess I was planning on just going around the edge for the power modifiers, but I guess if we just take this out, then all the creep just goes, right? So we might as well just do that. Uh, it is breeding now, and as you can see, it's breeding, but our edge is expanding. And now that we take this, this whole area just crumbles, of course, right? I mean... Sure, they're moving in over there, they're doing some stuff, but they can't make any more. So all of this, not to mention we're going to be making more. So we get that power, we get this power, and we're just going to let the rest of it kind of handle itself out once we get this power. I mean, that is our max power of 305, Bazinga. So I guess now it is just a matter of going on into the final zone, which look at that. I mean, we literally stepped into it and we are just draining it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just look at it go. It's a beautiful. I mean, look at that. We can just, we can just march into this thing. It is going to breed in just a second. Uh, so maybe we want to go for like the wall, you know, again, hold your walls. Your walls are good. So if we hold the wall, boom now now we have like a protective barrier right we have a front line that's going to assault we have walls the breeding is over so it's in trouble look at how fast that's draining like we we're not even moving and the entire thing is just just shuddering against our might Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Again, they're going to be breeding, uh, like, right now. Let's see how high it goes. It does come back up relatively high. You know, it, it is coming. Uh, but let's move up forward just a wee little bit towards the center, and let's just see this puppy drain. Oh, look at it go. Just, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful, I mean... Unflattening the AC, way more AC than creep. Again, they are breeding, but this is the last hurrah that they have. Uh, we're completely hemming them in while it was breeding, and they are devastated. So, we now have the next map done. Prologue completed, and uh, yeah, unflatten the AC. Zoom. Look at it. the orb of power. So next time, maybe we'll get two orbs. Fingers crossed. Again, I know the last one you get like nine. I want to see that. Super looking forward to it. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. Uh, of course, I will check the time. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Bazinga. All right. Rift Jump Ahoy. And, oops. Wow. Okay, so we took, we took our time. I uh, definitely did not plan out my route very, very well, so not terrible time, but definitely there are much better routes out there, so, although I will admit, if I got that minus 30, like, right off the rip, that would have helped so much, because that 30 is so big early game, oh man, I, I, I was a fool in waiting so long for that, so, I think that might have uh, hurt my time, but there we go, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.